Hey gang, we are with the Jet City by Saladano, uh, uh, Jet City 20, the JCA 2112RC, um, basically a pair of EL84s, about a 20 watt amp with spring reverb. Um, these are really popular because it's a good tube design at a really great price. I gotta tell you though, I think that this amp is capable of more than what it's given out, probably because of the fact that it's got a relatively inexpensive speaker in it, as we would assume an amp at this pr price point to have. Um, I've already done demos on this amp, and I found that what I liked about it was it was kind of narrowly focused in the mid-range, very Marshall-esque, and what I did not like about it is that it, um, it didn't really have much sparkle on the top or much oomph on the bottom, especially when we were going for sort of Fender-esque clean tones. So what I have over here in the Burris cab is, uh, is the WGS Retro 30. Now the Retro 30 is still somewhat of a vintage 30 British voiced speaker, but it um, does not have nearly as much of a focus in the upper mid-range as, uh, as a, a Veteran 30 does, or a uh, Vintage 30. So this is the Retro 30, a little bit more sparkle on top, a little bit more oomph in the bottom, still though with that predominant uh, British voice. So I'm gonna start out a little bit, I I'm on clean stuff. If you've heard any of my demos, you know I've got about, I'm a, about a six trick pony, and I'm gonna go through those tricks here. Um, this is one of the things I play all the time for clean tones, and I'm going to start with the stock speaker in the Jet City, which is an eminence. I don't know what kind exactly, um, probably not a real expensive eminence, and then I'll switch over uh, to the WGS Retro 30. Stock speaker. Still the Retro 30. And that's the uh, stock speaker. So, um, yeah, as, uh, again, I, I know the, the WGS line pretty well, and I had already suspected that probably the Retro 30 was going to be just the prescription for this amp, and uh, on these clean tones anyway, certainly it is. Let's do... Um, a little bit. That was between the bridge and a neck pickup. Let's go, our bridge in the middle. Let's go up to the neck in the middle. That's a stock speaker, and I gotta tell you the truth. If I didn't know any better, if I didn't have anything com to compare it to, that'd be okay. That's stock. Wow. Okay, I've got my little decibel meter set up where you'd ought to be able to read it. I actually can't. Um, but I would say that in the room it sounds, um, my technical description would be a lot louder. <laughs> I don't know how much louder, but it sounds a lot louder in the room. So um, tell you what, we'll do just a little bit of kind of uh, twangy telly stuff, and I'm going to crank a little bit more reverb here. Okay, this is on stock speaker. To the Retro 30. Okay, so indeed, um, in all of those clean tones, uh, the Retro 30 is making this already pretty decent sounding amp for the money sound downright good. Um, but admittedly, what the amp does best is high gain tones, so let's dial in some high gain tones and see if we're still seeing an improvement here or not. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cranked here. <laughs> Oh, ha! 
Ah, that is the Retro 30. Okay, here's a stock speaker. Stock. Retro 30. Okay, so um, it kind of depends on what you're going for, but good lord, is the Retro 30 a lot louder. Um, and that's great, because as it is, this amp is just barely loud enough to keep up with a drummer in a live situation. I'd say with the Retro 30, you would definitely get to where you could keep up with a drummer. Um, if you like really vintage ACDC stuff, the sort of mid-range hump of the stock speaker, you might like a little better than the, the more broad sound of the Retro. But you know what? I'm gonna, right now, I've got the amp dialed up basically to make it sound as good as I can through the stock speaker. Okay, that's the Retro 30. I'm going to go ahead and add a little of the mid-range back in that I've got scooped out right now. Okay, and now let's see what we got. <laughs> to stock. Okay, let's do my ACDC lick. You know I gotta do that. To the Retro 30. I'm gonna stay in the Retro here. The stock speaker. Let's do this on stock speaker. You know, again, unless you're really looking for that focused mid-range thing, wow, this retro's eating its lunch. Okay, um, well, uh, go up to neck pickup, and I'm going to actually uh, pull the gain down just a little bit and do some kind of Stevie stuff here. Okay, I'll start on the uh, stock speaker. Back to stock. Wow. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna quit now. Uh, so basically speaking, I'm gonna go ahead and, and say that uh, if this was my amp and I was gigging with it, if I had the whatever it is, 60 or 70 bucks, I'd probably spend it on the uh, on the Retro 30 because it really does take this amp from being a pretty good amp to being a to being a really good amp, and that's actually what we all want now, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs>